Hey, Judy Garland. How have you been? I just watched you in The Wizard of Oz last night. That's Judy Garland. She is well known for her role as Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. She was a famous actress and singer from the early 1920s to the late 1960s. She is considered one of the top ten greatest female stars in the history of American cinema. Beyonce? Oh, I haven't seen you in so long. Well, for starters, it doesn't seem like I'm in the 1950s anymore. But besides that, I'm great. How about you? Most of you already know who Beyonce, also known as Slasher Fierce, is. But if you don't, she's an international superstar who has opened many doors for female singers. She helped all women, but more importantly, African-American female singers gain a place in the R&B and hip-hop industry. She used to be in a female group called Destiny's Child, but ever since they broke up, she's been continuing her career as a solo artist. I'm great, you know, keeping it fierce. <laughs> Did you hear about my new album? I released it myself, of course with the help of my record company, without anyone but a few people knowing. I didn't really want any promotion from companies for it. That's absolutely amazing. My record company would never let me do that back in my day. But women have to stand up for themselves because no one has the right to tell us what we can or cannot do. Who runs the world? Girls run the world, right? Mm -hmm. I just wish that things were different for us women in the 1940s and 50s. I wish I could have stood up for the, to my record company and people like my husband. A long time ago, it was do as he says, not what I want. This affected my songs too. Women cannot write songs about their independence and topics surrounding that because our record companies usually just wanted us to sing about love unless the song was for a movie. Some of my songs that showed that were Dear Mr. Gable and No Love, No Nothing. Things are totally different today. I have produced my fair share of love songs, too, but I make it clear that if a man does not treat women the way they are supposed to, that it's time to move on. I got out of a relationship once where he did not want to commit, but hey, he should have put a ring on it, right? <laughs> Fortunately, Jay-Z did, and he knows that we are partners, and he is not the only one calling the shots in their relationship. My song, Single Ladies, explains all, all about women standing up, for, standing up against men who don't treat them right and who don't want to meet up to their needs. Another song is Independent Women. In this song, my girls and I talk about not needing a man to do things for us. We are able to get all the things that we want. We can buy our own shoes, our own homes, our own cars, and our own clothes. We only need to depend on ourselves. You know, Beyonce, it is kind of nice for our husbands to provide for us because the only solid responsibility that we, were, we are given is to take care of our family. I would like to be more independent, but women's roles back then were to take care of our families, and we knew that. I really appreciate taking care of my family, but I wish women back then could have been more like women today, independent and who speak for themselves. I understand, Judy. Us girls need to stick together and fight for ourselves. However, no matter what our roles are, our music has contributed to our own times in a positive way. Our fans have enjoyed our songs. One of my favorite songs by you, Judy, is Get Happy. I like to listen to it when I am feeling sad, and your song taught me to forget my troubles and chase my cares away. Hallelujah. Another one of my favorites is Over the Rainbow, which makes me believe that dreams come true. Your songs are also an inspiration to me and to all women around the world. You're an amazing performer, singer, and dancer. I can see why Jay-Z is so crazy in love with you. It was nice talking to you, Judy. It was nice talking to you, too.